Hello everyone, hope you're all doing well. Don't forget, if you like the video, click on like and subscribe and talk about it on chat lines, wherever it is your social media activities and help us to grow and help more people. I'll talk to you soon. And Joanna says, we have a higher self. It's always in conflict with our thoughts because thoughts are not your thoughts. You know, there's a brain thought and then there's your thought. The thoughts that are in conflict with your higher self are not your thoughts. The brain's thoughts. And when you understand this, which it seems to me, Joanna, you understand, then it becomes a safer place for you because you don't have a belief as a superior credible source mounted on your head. You understand that what's mounted on your body in your head is a brain, is apparatus but you're still the judge of it. Not that this is your moral compass. In the video that I produced called, Are You or the Brain is the You? You will get to know exactly through scientific experiments, not just philosophical points of views, scientific experience, what Aristotle talked about a thousand years ago but now proven beyond the shadow of the doubt by Dr. Speary, Dr. Penfield from Montreal in the 1930s and 1960s uh, through neurosurgery and neuroscience and uh, through the experiments that they have put in, Dr. Owens, Dr. Leibet, these are all Nobel Prize echelon of studies and research. And if you watch that, it's about a 49, 50 minute video, but it's elaborate. To understand scientifically proven that you're not the brain and brain is not you and there are aspects of you that the brain cannot reach and specifically you can see in Dr. Owen's experiment that shows even a demolished brain in vegetative state still is conscious and that conscious is not because the brain is intact it's something beyond the brain that actually keeps the awareness, not the brain itself, because it's proven that in an accident, the brain is demolished. But there is that awareness. Where's that awareness coming from? Not from the brain, that's already shot. But through their experiences, they show that still has understanding, awareness. That awareness is beyond the brain, and that awareness is you. Dr. Penfield and Dr. Sperry, by cutting the corpus callosum, which connects the two hemispheres of the brain. And they still prove that the brain functions as one. There's no change. How could you cut the brain in half and not become two people and not to sever and still function? And very, very minor, subtle differences shows, which took a Nobel Prize winning research to prove that there are little subtle differences in perception, but nothing else changed. Why nothing else change when you cut the brain in half? Because there is a you in there who's operating in a higher level than the actual brain does. That's why the brain is not you. That's why when the brain conjures up nonsense, you should not be taking it as a source, a credible source. It's its function and malfunctions. And of course, Dr. Penfield and amazing study and experience of Dr. Leibet. For heaven's sake, you guys cannot believe what's in there. Watch that. I'm going to put the link up here. And I want you guys to enjoy learning about your brain by not just philosophical discussions that we do often, but by scientific way of understanding the scholars who have worked and showed beyond the shadow of the doubt what we're talking about here. I'll give you the link and I hope that you guys take advantage and make some tea or whatever your preferred beverage is and enjoy this, learning about what these scholars have done, which sets you free on certain knowledge. It's so important for all of us to know. All right. John Rubolis says this program is like an instruction manual for the brain. Very helpful. Thank you very much. You're quite welcome, John. 
uh, let me know your age where you're tuning in from.